Hey guys, Coach Katie here with Coach Josh. We're gonna show you this week's simple and sinister workout. So we have six stations, one exercise at each station. You'll be at each station for 25 seconds. You have 15 seconds to rotate in between stations. You're gonna have 40 seconds at the end of each round to recover, get your water. We're gonna go through the room, five rounds total. You ready, Josh? Yeah. Okay, station number one. No ropes today, you guys. We're gonna do power stuff ups with the bag. So with that bag, you have some options. You can hold it over one shoulder. You can hold it in front of you, or you can put it around your neck and keep it there. As you get the bag situated, you're doing power step ups. So you're stepping up and over on that back, trying to explode off. Imagine you're crushing a pot can with that foot, making sure the whole foot gets on the box. If you need to take the impact out, just step up and over. Still imagining you're creating a lot of power stepping on that box. If you need to take the bag away, just focus on the power step ups or the step up and overs. Station number two, we're gonna do those tight crunches. So we'll have the resist bands hanging from all the bars here. You're gonna get your hand situated on that band, step one leg back, and then from here, you're gonna pull that leg up into your hands. You're pulling your hands down to your leg, pulling your leg and knee up into your hand. Really crunching your core as you're pulling it in, straightening back out, blowing that air out. So deep breath in, blow that air out as you pull your hand to your knee. When you come back in the second round, you'll switch legs. So you keep switching which leg is pulling up per, uh, per round. Station number three, we're gonna do our slider fly and push-ups here. So, push-up position, hands on the sliders, body is nice and tight here, so core is activated. Slide those hands apart, squeeze your shoulder blades to lower your chest down, press back up, pull those sliders back together. So push them apart, squeeze those shoulder blades, pull them back together at the top. You can do this also from your knees here. So set your knees on the floor. Just make sure your hips are out away from your knees. Slide your hands apart, squeeze your shoulder blades to lower that chest down on the floor. Now if this is still too difficult, take the sliders away and just focus on some push-ups here, whichever variation of the push-up you're working on. Station number four, we're gonna do kettlebell goblet squat. So you're gonna clean that bell up to your chest, keep it there, and then you're squatting for 25 seconds. Getting as low into that squat as you can. Deep breath in on the way down, blow it out as you drive up, and here at the top, you're really squeezing and activating those glute muscles tight as you can. All right? Station number five, you'll rotate over to the skier. So here you have 25 seconds on this skier. You're thinking strong, intentional strokes. So deep breath at the top, blow it out as you pull, coming up to your toes to reach, sitting that butt back as you pull here, really activate your core to get a nice strong pull out of that skier. Check your meters at the end of uh, round number one and try to hit that or get more in the next round. And then your last station. We'll have our stability ball set up and you're gonna do the plank squeeze. So here Josh is going from his hand, back is engaged, glutes are squeezed, thighs are tight, core is tight, he's squeezing that ball. Another option would be to go from your forearms. So getting your forearms on the ball, but you're still really squeezing that ball so you're really working your chest, core, and glutes in that plank position. You can do that from your knees also if you need to. All right, simple and sinister looks like a good one. Good job, Josh.